Hello YouTube, this is a build guide to my ESO Magic and Nightblade build for Battlegrounds in the Merkmire patch. Let's start with the basics. The race is Argonian, and this is important. Argonians get great sustain from their potion passive, 9% increase to their max health, which helps a lot in PvP, immunity to the minor defile and poisoned proc from disease and poison damage respectively, a 3% increase to their max magicka pool, and 5% increase to their healing done and healing received to help us keep ourselves alive. Attribute points all get poured into Magicka. We will have enough health from other places, and we do we make do with a small stamina pool by fully restoring our stamina on demand with the Argonian passive. My Munda Stone is thiefed for extra critical chance. For gear, we're wearing five pieces of War Maiden, which is dropped in Vardenfall. I used an infused flame staff with a weapon damage enchantment, as well as jewelry with spell damage enchantments for this set. The trait for your jewelry should be arcane. The next is the Bright Throats Boast set, and again we're wearing all five pieces, chest, legs, gloves, belt, and shoes for my choice of choices of slots for this set. All the traits should be impenetrable, and all the enchantments should be Max Magica. Finally, our Monster Helm set. For this, I picked Nerianith Monster set. The one-piece health bonus helps us achieve a good amount of health, and the two-piece bonus helps us keep enemies off objectives and battlegrounds. <clears throat> If you don't care so much about area denial, I'd swap this one out for something more to your playstyle. Uh, mine, my set is light armor. You can make it heavier medium if you want those passives instead. And it'll also trigger the undaunted passives. Personal choice here. Finally, the back bar weapon. I run a restoration staff that has two pieces, uh, a two-piece bonus for magicka recovery. This helps counter the hefty cost of permanently cloaking ourselves with shadowy disguise. Uh, for the trait and enchantment, these are up to you. Defending, powered, and infused are all good choices. I went with powered just because it's what I could find for sale real easy. Uh, I didn't bother transmuting it. Uh, it's good, good trait, served to me well. I haven't bothered to change it for that reason. And I put a damage health enchantment on it. Uh, this helps us, you know, finish people, finish people off who are low health, who seem to roll dodge forever. That can be pretty annoying sometimes. So, uh, as a res and as restorations. Staff heavy attacks can't be blocked, uh, excuse me, can't be dodged. Uh, it, it helps just get rid of those, the roly poly -olies, as I like to call them. Uh, ability bars, my front bar from left to right is follows. I play with a, an Xbox controller, I don't play with a mouse and keyboard, so my ability bar is probably weird. Uh, you can switch it up to be however suits your playstyle. So my front bar from left to right is Swallow Soul from the Siphoning Skill line. Inner Light from the Mage's Guild skill line, uh, Merciless Resolve from the Assassination skill line, Structured Entropy from the Mage's Guild skill line, and Elemental Drain from the Destruction Staff skill line. My ultimate on this bar is Shooting Star for the Mage's Guild skill line. A lot of people prefer the Icy Meteor, I just stick with this one. I like the ultimate back on, uh, on hit. My back bar from left to right is Concealed Weapon from the Shadow skill line. Mutagen from the Restoration Staff skill line. Big savior here. I used to run Rapid Regeneration, but Mutagen is beautiful. I swear by it. Shadowy Disguise from the Shadow skill line. Siphoning Attacks from the Siphoning skill line. And Mirage from the Assassination skill line. My ultimate on this bar is Light's Champion from the Restoration Staff skill line. However, I often find myself running Veil of Blades in objective game modes where I don't have to be as mobile. Uh, and that's because it gives longer duration for major protection and deals tons of damage who, uh, to people who try to stand on the objective and lasts quite a bit longer, like almost 100% longer than the Restoration Staff ulti, so. Uh, yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. That uh, concludes the build. Good luck.